says, he says, a divorce paper or papers coming from the court are just paper. It's just paper that you need to sign your name to. You will walk through the bankruptcy. You will walk through whatever the issue is that you have found yourself thinking that you're not good enough. You should have been different. It's, things should have happened differently for you that I shouldn't find myself in this position. It's just paper. And you walk through it one day at a time. You breathe and you feel your toenails and you watch the birds <laughs> build their nests. And like this morning, coming into, there's this one tiny little, beautiful little sweet bee cousin out there blooming amongst all this white gravel. And it's like, my God, there's just such profound truth everywhere we look. If we're not busy in the hell between our ears. The thing is, is that what we don't realize, what we are so very, very afraid of is our shadow side. People are just terrified of it. And I remember sitting in my sponsor's kitchen, and I've shared this with you before. I told her, I said, I am so frightened to go down in there for fear that I'm going to find out that I'm the monster, the unlovable POS that I expect to be. And she said, you know what you're going to find out when you get down in there, Jenny? She said, it's just you. It's just you. We are not our parents. They're tortured. They're, when everybody tells, when people tell me about what their parents did to them, I think, oh, how sad for their parents. They did not have the healing, the opportunity. The, they, they were even judged if they went to a shrink. Yeah, they didn't want to be considered crazy, and everybody, I'm sure, around them knew they were. Because... You know, I was reading in this uh, book that Sandy loaned me called The Medical Medium, and he says that mercury is in our systems, and they used to, for healing purposes, give people mercury elixirs, right? And so people, there became, it became so bad that they were running out of doctors. Nobody wanted to school, go to school because no one was going to the doctor because they would send their husband or their children to the doctor and they would come home having grand mal seizures and stuff from the mercury that they were giving them to quote-unquote heal them. And we are carrying, in some cases, thousand-year-old mercury in our brains from misperceptions, from unconsciousness, from a lack of evolution. And it's so very vital that we have compassion for those who went before us. They don't have the op they didn't have the opportunities to heal like we do. And have compassion. I mean, they may have tortured you. They may have done all that stuff. But what have you done with the information? What stories are you still telling yourself about how bad it was? And have you ever given them a break? I know that for years I thought that my mother had been molested. I just from her behavior I could tell. And sure enough, my aunt, when we went to that, on that trip to England, told me that my great uncle had molested her, his daughter, my aunt, and I knew my mother was one of them. And I said, so that tells me who my grandfather that I never knew was. And that tells me what he went through and what his father went through and what, and it comes down through the generations. I can have compassion. The ego has not spared any tiny bit of pain. But by uh, allowing your shadow side, the shadow side is what pushes me, I don't know about you, but it pushes me to find a way to come to peace with that and have compassion and have compassion for you. I'm not in such great judgment of people anymore because I don't know, as the Native American prayer says, I've never been, I've not walked a mile in your moccasins. I don't know what you've been through, what your parents have been through. But I have compassion because I know that we're one and that you are representing an aspect of me that maybe I am still working on and healing inside myself. Our greatest thing that we can do for my, our planet, as far as I am concerned, is to work on us. To allow ourselves to be acceptable the way we are, shadow and all. That is where our greatest return is. Can you imagine? I mean, isn't it? One of the things that people say to me quite regularly in my shop is they say, Jenny, I always leave feeling better. And, and they also say, that's because you don't judge me. And I'm like, 
I can't. I can't. I, I'm human. I have my shadow side just like everybody else. But what I would really want to leave with you today is you may be afraid. I know my sister is that if she ever started crying, she'd never stop. I can guarantee you because I stand here in front of you to tell you that they will. But the only way to for the stream to run small is to tear down the dam and allow yourselves to just be the perfect, beautiful aspects of God that we are and live your life and let him show you what life he would love for you to have. Thank you.